He's starting to sink into himself. The cost of it. All his betraying and nastiness. Look at him. It catches up. You earn the face you deserve. That's his new protege. That horrible man John's poor daughter. He's trying to mold her. Hmm. He changed her last name to erase her dad. Erase? I'd like to warn her. Well, he's got her dressed like she's at a flower show in Minneapolis. Remember what happened with Eliza Doolittle? She dumped Henry Higgins. I think My Fair Lady is the right cautionary tale. All right, let's get to brass tacks. Mm. Is Peter Beard really ready to marry you? Spill the beans. Yes, I think so. Oh, he's kicked the barbiturates. He's got enough money to keep us going. God, he's so sexy, I don't even care about the money. It's the sex. <laughs> Montauk. Those weekends. Yes, but Lee, you can't be having money issues. Sell the place in London. You're never there. Or Paris. I need them in case. I just wish he would fucking stop coming here. I could throw a glass of Prosecco in his face. Maybe then he'd get the message. No, he would just lap it up. We're going to be exemplary, and you know it. We would be in the post tomorrow, if not tonight. Every waiter is a spy, and every diner is someone's tipster. Oh, hi, my God, I didn't see you right there. You both look wonderful, so wonderful. Lee, I need to tell you so much. Your sister and... No, well, that's, I'll save it. Yes, do. So, a new swan. A signet in training, yes? Hello, dear. Hi. Oh, yes, we're off to Dixie's photographing her. Kate Harrington is lead right as well. I'd let my hair fall naturally were I you, darling. I mean, you're not in the Daughters of the American Revolution. Send Dickie my best. Can we have lunch? Sure, Truman, sure. Call me. Well, maybe we don't have dessert. <laughs>